from a cardiac arrest situation, have a lot of sweaty, the person turn very pale and then just drop down. The person is feeling uncomfortable, breathing difficulty or some chest discomfort. You need to at least perform a CPR or like advanced life support, chest compression, some mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation before the patient can okay. recover. Hi Derek, how are you today? Uh, Tony, I'm good, I'm good. Thank okay. you for asking me along. No problem, thank you for your time. I come across one video which I'm going to ask you to comment, okay? okay. So, but before yeah. we start, I'm going to introduce yourself. So Dr. Derek Yong is a cardiologist with subspecialty interest in interventional cardiology yeah, and practicing in Singapore. We are going to talk about cardiac arrest and CPR. Before we start, I'm going to show you this video. It was a typical night at the movie theatre in Singapore, until suddenly, a man in the audience suffered a heart attack. Panic set in as the audience watched the man struggle for his life. Doctors and assistants rushed to the scene, desperately trying to save him. And then, a miracle happened. The two medical professionals quickly sprang into action, slapping the man's inner elbow. Within just two minutes, the man had recovered. This amazing technique is captured in this video and serves as a critical lesson in emergency situations. Okay, Derek, what do you think about that video? Um, I saw this video some time ago, one or two weeks ago. I oh, was okay. very, skeptical, uh, very skeptical about the, the, the video because uh, it seems that the, there's a particular person uh, had a had a collapse uh, supposedly to be uh, in a cardiac arrest situation yeah. and there were bystanders trying to rescue him. Yeah, so if you can see there are certain maneuvers that they were doing uh, which, which is not per se as a CPR kind of thing. Yeah. So if you notice, right, um, there was a particular guy who tried to uh, snap the arm or the forearm multiple times. Yeah. Initially, I thought they were trying to find a vein for cannulation to put yeah, okay. uh, intravenous uh, cannulator, cannulation. Yeah, yeah. So to give some fluids or give some IV uh, medications. Um, this is definitely not part of a CPR, CPR. Uh, technique. Lah. Before we go further, do you think this is a cardiac arrest or something else? The way I look at how the person responded and person recovered, uh, no, this is likely unlikely to be a cardiac arrest situation because okay. he responded quite fast. It seems like he had a had a vasovagal collapse. Okay, okay. Or we call that neurocardiogenic collapse. Uh. I can go into a detail with that. Explain to us in a very simple way. How yeah. do you differentiate cardiac arrest from vasovagal attack? Okay. Is there any um, way to differentiate it? I mean, there are certain cues about it, uh, but uh, usually. Uh, from a cardiac arrest situation, uh, you will be have a lot of sweaty, you know, you have somebody clutching on the chest and you find that the person turned very pale and they just drop down. But there will be yeah. some signs that they are feeling, the, patient, the person is feeling uncomfortable, like either by breathing difficulty or some chest discomfort. And, and certainly, um, the person will not recover so fast because okay. in this situation, if a cardiac arrest, um, for for the page for the person to recover that fast, um, you need to at least perform a CPR or like advanced life support. You know, get uh, some chest compression, some mouth to mouth um, um, resuscitation before the patient can okay. recover. Yeah, so 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 it's very unlikely that this patient it has uh, cardiac arrest. From a basal vagal perspective, usually patient can happen. You know, you know, um, you can feel. Uh, dizzy, feel a bit unwell in a usually crowded yeah. area, and I feel like the 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 world, uh, the, what they see is getting very dark, and you can just collapse for a few seconds. And as long as they lie down with blood perfusion, uh, perfusion to the brain with enough blood pressure, the patient will wake up again spontaneously. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. Okay. That is from the point of view of the patient, right? What about the bystander? Yeah. Can we, as bystander, are not from patient's point of view, differentiate vasovagal attack from cardiac arrest. 
can, can. Most, most, most importantly is to make sure that the patient, whether it's uh, breathing or they have mm -hmm. a pulse. Uh, for vasovagal situation, they usually will be breathing and they will have a pulse. Okay. Yeah. Pulse. Yeah, they let's are say, spontaneously breathing. Let's yeah. say patient has cardiac arrest and they do tap, tap the forearm, yeah. the elbow. Yeah. What do you think will happen to the patient? Real cardiac arrest. Okay. Will die. So, so we, yes, the patient will die. Because first, there is no perfusion. There is no cardiac arrest. The CPR is, uh, is, is, is what we, in English, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. We have to do chest compression. We have to, the chest compression is to get blood supply to the brain and to the rest of the other organs. And then that will, some, that will maintain perfusion, blood perfusion to the brain. Then the patient will be alive in that sense. So if the patient had a cardiac arrest in that situation, tap, 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 the heart is going to still stop. Um, the, 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 the patient is not going to be alive after about um, 30 seconds. Right. You know, that's mm. very important. Mm. Okay. So it is important to educate the public about this kind of video that is not uh yeah so 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 on the lighter side right so i got this video from uh, a group of my uh what we call it um uh, interventional cardiologist group so they were sending to us and then they will say to me uh, the group was saying to all us that soon our patients will start asking whether this is the correct way to treat a cardiac arrest situation or it's a cpr thing or yeah. is, it, is it enough to to treat a patient who who had a collapse in the public. So, so I mean, I got this video from many sources now, mm -hmm. and you, I, I'm sure you saw it also. So yeah. I think even, even my wife also say that, uh, uh, is that, is that is not true? Is that true or not true? You know, she was asking me also. Actually, there are a lot of people sending, sending me videos, not just this one, and asking me whether it is correct. Maybe next time we can talk about the video. But mm, yeah. for a person who can do CPR, they will go through step by step, check airway breathing circulation. Yeah. And if yeah. there is no airway breathing circulation, they start to do chest compression. Yeah. Yeah. Not this tapping elbow, tapping forearm thing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, no, no. The tapping elbow, tapping forearm thing, right? Initially, really, we do tap, but it's to, 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 to induce the vein to be more prominent. And then we can actually do IV cannulation. IV, cannulation. IV cannulation is actually to yeah, insert the needle, then we can give fluids and can give medication through the vein. That's actually to, to facilitate, facilitate uh, IV cannulation, more to insert the needles uh, rather than to, 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 to tap and then wake the patient up. In that video, the patient would have spontaneously woken up by himself, uh, either maybe through the pain, you know, because the patient is had a vasovagal collapse, but or even Arrest, uh. Or even you don't tap also, they will wake up, right? If yeah, exactly. Like you just put, that, put I mean, for that patient, for that person over there, they were lying down, but perhaps lie on the side, lie down, they will wake up by themselves. So this this tapping on the on the on the, on the forearm doesn't make any sense. Do you think that video is made in Singapore? I don't know. It looks like <laughs> it may be, you know, in the cinemas, you know, I'm not sure. It looks like <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Golden Village cinema. I don't know. I've been in the cinema for a long time. What do you think? It looks like it's cinema, I don't know. Right? I don't know. It looks like maybe not in Singapore. I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, before we end, do you have any message, one or two messages for the public about CPR, cardiac arrest, yeah. or pasovagal yeah, attack? Think. I think, okay, I think uh, I would say, yes, I, I encourage uh, everyone, if they have time to go into a course to educate themselves or to learn a special skill, yeah, because you will never know, you will use it at one day, and even if it's not a, even if it's a person with basal basal bigger collapse, or, or, or just a fainting spell, it may still be useful to identify those situations, and then if it's a truly cardiac arrest, you may save one life, yeah. so I think, yeah, I think it's a useful skill for public, um, for everyone to know, for families, especially if they have uh, friends or, or relatives who had um, uh, cardiac issues. I think it's important. Thanks, Dr. Derek Yong, for your time and for your education. You can do it again. Okay. Thank you for watching you. this video. If you have any questions, 
you have any comments feel free to type it out in the comment section below and i hope to see you again in my next video bye bye